We will return to Christopher Plummer in The Scarlet and the Black. There's been times I've, I've lost my confidence. Uh, There's no one who has the absolute confidence of J.R. Times I figured all the money in the world wasn't worth some of the pain I've caused. He knows what he wants, and he never doubts that it's worth having. Now, maybe I'm not the easiest man in the world to live with. <laughs> he has given me more pain than I ever thought possible. My methods may be a little unusual. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also given me my son. But when I look at my son, John Ross, Our son. I say no matter what, if it keeps the unions together, it's got to be right. Is that Suellen? Suellen? Yes, I guess that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Good evening. From CBS News, this is Newsbreak. White House doctors say lab reports show the two polyps removed from President Reagan's intestine yesterday are benign. All other tests taken during the president's checkup were normal. The two Frenchmen freed yesterday in Beirut returned to Paris after three months as hostages. And today, two Greek Cypriot students who had attended American University in Beirut and were kidnapped two months ago were also released by their captors. Now this. Bo Jackson, last season's Heitzman Trophy winner, has turned down an offer to play football and instead will play baseball for the Kansas City Royals. I'm Marlene Sanders, CBS News, New York. More news later on this CBS station.